It sounds crazy when I say it out loud, but this is our new home, Kimberly Joe. Until this year, we hadn't even set foot on a narrow boat. We are Tony and Sonia, and after more than 20 years of teaching, we thought you only lived once, and it was time that we had some adventures. We would love it if you came along with us. So this is what we woke up to this morning. Some boats down there. It's an interesting exit we have to do. But yeah, really, really nice, really peaceful. And we just woke up to the red kite. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it in that tree. It hasn't stopped all morning. And as soon as you say it. Yeah, the minute I say it, it stops. It was like the cuckoo yesterday didn't stop cuckooing. No. Until we got close. Yeah, he's over there. We had a heron over there. Yeah, just really lovely and peaceful. Have an alligator on the side. There it is. Come on, my time. Yeah, fabulous. Cool. Anyway, that's how this. This is our morning for one night. Yep, Sonia did marvellous. Spot this one. Was when we walked around the corner. There was nothing else, was there? No, there wasn't anything else to when we went for a walk yesterday. So. Yeah, very wild. <laughs> yeah, very, very wild indeed, but lovely. Yeah, we've run out of food. Yep, we have no food. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to go onwards and we're hoping for Benson. Benson and then Wallingford. Yep. Or both, or one or the other. Yep, fingers crossed, one yes. or the other will do us. Yeah, well, that's it. So shortly we'll be getting ready to go. We've got to take the canopy down, put the cratch cover up just in case we go for a lock today. Tuesday. <laughs> I was waiting to see if you knew what Seriously, day it was. Seriously, it's getting worse. It is. Um, and we're off. Yeah. So this was Shillingham. Shillingford. Shillingford. Um, we're just around the corner from it, so we're going sort of going around to it now. Uh, this is sort of like our halfway stop off, but it wasn't quite halfway because our halfway stop off didn't have any more inns. So we just carried on through and it was nice, really nice actually, I really liked it. Yeah, I really liked it. The only thing that's making us move is the fact that we haven't got any food. Yeah, Sonia made up a tea last night, it wasn't great. Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I had a frozen chicken burger, some pasta and some tinned tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, and it sounds, as, it tasted as good as it sounds I think from all uh, by all accounts. So okay. we're heading towards Benson, we've looked on Google Earth and there might be a few more in there so we're going to kind of see but if not, we'll go into... Wallingford. Wallingford. So we'll be Wallies in Wallingford. <laughs> and that is our plan for the day. But as we find out more and more, anything could happen. Watch this space. Yeah. Or watch this point, as I said, in a different one. Oh, a space point. <laughs>
know what it is about this morning, this cruise, but it is so beautiful. The water is so still, the sun keeps peeking out, but there are no boats on the water apart from us, <laughs> disturbing the peace, but it's just, it really is beautiful today. Really beautiful. noticed about Lockheed's on the Thames, all the ones we've come across have been so helpful. He's telling us all about the moorings up ahead in Wallingford, really, really friendly people. And it makes the journey through the lock so much easier. This guy's absolutely great. So, son, oh. I've been in my sweatshirt oh, yeah. all morning, sweltering, because someone told me that it was like long trousers day to day, long trousers day, no right. shorts today. I didn't. I said, I'm wearing jeans because it's about 22 degrees and that's fine for me. So I was like, right, tracks of bombs on, sweatshirt on, sweltering. So in the end, sweatshirt comes off, now it's cold. It's not cold. There is, I think, scientists could do some research on this. A direct correlation between me wearing a sweatshirt and the weather. So if you want a barbecue, message this channel, tell me when it's going to be and I'll put a jumper on and you'll have some lovely weather. Wallington, so I'm just changing. What is it then? Wallingford. Here we are, Wallingford, they're all tons of hoods. So here we are, Wallingford. Um, we've moored up. We were going to moor up that side, but this side looks a bit nicer. So we moored up here instead, right next to this big thing. Beautiful, that look at that. Um, so I'm just loosening the ropes because she's looked at everyone else, and some of them have got ropes looser than ours. So now we're loosening ours. If some of them had them tighter than us, we'd be tightening them. If some of them parted their hair to the left, we'd part our hair to the left. But it's beautiful, it's really nice here. There's a lovely bridge there. So there's a pub just on the corner. So today we are visiting Wallingford Castle. <laughs> or some grass where the castle used to be. Yeah, yeah so it's on that. It was demolished at eight minutes to five. Blimey. All right, so what's this? This is the field, son. It's the water meadow, meadows, Tony. All right. No, so this is the upper meadows. <laughs> so this is what divides the imaginary castle from the River Thames. This is where the castles, they put the animals, would feed here, so on. It's very important as the bit between Blah, 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 and the blah, blah, blah. The river and the castle. Yeah. Okay, move on. <laughs> what, what? This is like being on a school trip with Tony. <laughs> he takes his history very seriously. The buildings are long gone, torn down in um, eight minutes to five by Oliver Cromwell. <laughs> six years after the last great siege of the Civil War. But take a moment to imagine the outlines of the great turreted walls and the, the mott crowned by its massive tower. A formidable place indeed. <laughs>
two magnificent Wellingtonias that mark the boundary. And they're not imaginary, these are real ones, these ones. Let's see if I don't know if you can get some sort of perspective how big they are. I don't know if I could make Tony stand at the base of one, but they're huge. I'm gonna go stand at the base of one. Okay, I'll go stand at the base of one. <laughs> I can't even see you. <laughs> can you do it? <laughs> You're doing some roll because I was zooming in. I couldn't see you at all. <laughs> Such a wally. But son, take a moment to imagine the outline of the great turreted walls and the mock crowned by its massive tower and the spaceship in the corner and the dinosaur running across <laughs> chasing the Tyrannosaurus Rex which flies off because um, Godzilla has just appeared in the distance. Let's imagine all of that, son. What are you talking about? <laughs> son, if you're going to imagine, imagine big. Imagine crazy. <laughs> a building a bit. Leftover building y bit. Yep. Otherwise Check. known as archaeological remains. <laughs> <laughs> or archaeological area of importance. So, this here, this little ditch, was dug out by Saxons when? About, About 1300 years ago. 1300 years ago. So, this would be the moat. It would be filled with water. Yeah. And just up there is the, what's it, the inner wall? The inner wall, yeah, that is. The inner inner marks the inner wall of the castle. That's all that's left is that and the bit over there. That bit there and that tiny little bit over there. That's all that's left. There you go. This is Wallingford Castle. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been really impressive in the day. And that's like that was one of the buildings inside. Look, that was, that was one more bit. And that bit over there. It, it was one of the buildings. Would, was one of the buildings inside the and inner it's wall. It's on the edge of the inner bailey. And on the edge of the inner bailey, so it was a Mott and Bailey castle. And then where those trees are was the Mott, and that would have been where the big tower would have been on top. Yeah. Well, there you go. Picture that. Because you're going to have to, because you ain't there. So there was the Mott that we saw. And the trees are. Yeah. And then over there was a small bit of this wall. <laughs> <laughs> and then here we have Godzilla and T Rex. And spaceships. Perfect. Two new haircuts, only one being shown right now because I've got a hat on. <laughs> what is the plan now, Son? The plan is to motor towards Goring. Um, if we see something on the way, we'll stop because we don't want to be going for too long because it's the afternoon. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we just want to have some lunch. Yeah. But um, we needed to move on. Well, especially as soon as we see a moron, we're going to probably just pull over and stop there. And the aim is because we want to, we actually want to stop at Gorin. So we're a little bit worried that if we go piling onto Gorin now, bearing in mind it's sort of about half past one, quarter to two, something like that, there's a good chance that all the morons will have been taken for today. So. Ideally, we'll find a nice spot on the way that we can pull over. Nice little wild mooring, maybe, It'd be lovely. We don't need any food or any of that. And then tomorrow, go on to Goring. And then explore Goring, in yeah. the That's plan. We're going to call that plan A because after the last few times we've gone on a trip, anything could happen.
Benson had um, certain, uh, I can't remember what the aircraft were, but in the war, the aircraft were out of Mario Benson. We looked for a mooring in between and up there, nice little view through, coming round, nice view there, and to there. Nice. What do you think? It's lovely, it really is. It's much nicer than where we were last night. Well, yeah, exactly. It's so, nice. so we should stay here um, till at least tomorrow. Maybe the day after. Yeah, see how we feel. See how we feel. So this is where we are, someone's just getting herself set up at the moment. We've got our Kindles out, sun is out, although it's late you can see the clouds, it's actually, the sun is probably out. It's a nice sunny day. Um, normally I wouldn't have the camera out because it's the sort of place I would just leave it or broke it or something. But, Narrow Escape or Narrow Boat Josh. They have been seeing lots of kingfishers and the kingfishers look really cool. Well since we've pulled up here, the kingfish has gone backwards and forwards about three times and on one of them it stopped right next to the boat but I wasn't quick enough to get the camera so I've got it with me now and I'm determined to get a shot for you two you two? yeah two the group people. in the group Bono Bono <laughs> I thought it meant for our two viewers <laughs> no 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 Bono Bono loves kingfishers apparently <laughs> and there she is just watching the world pass by Beer finished though, Simon. Does it mean you want another one? It does. So this little fella this morning was sitting just on the back of the boat as I opened the hatch doors and then he flew off into that bush. There he goes. Beautiful. Very excited today only because I get to say we are going for a mooring at Gorin. <laughs> if that's all it takes, my gosh. And that's it, that's my whole intro for what we're doing today, is we're just going for a mooring at Goring. And if we were going there, I might look for a stopping at Wapping. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> I've got so many I could do, but I'll, I'll just stop there. Good. See you when Good. we get there. <laughs> So we've been going for about an hour, maybe, a bit less. Um, we're now at Cleve Lock, we're just waiting for the water point. So, um, as you can see behind me, there's a boat already on the water point, but they're quite slow, the water, but we've left it as long as we've left it in the past. It's like the lowest as it's probably ever been. So we're definitely not gonna pass up this chance because they're few and far between water points, so, uh, where you can actually fill up the whole tank. So that's what we're gonna do now. So we could be here for a little while yet. Watch this space. I think our water tank's about oh, 207. No, it can't be. I'll oh, forget it. So, this was not forecast. Anyway, we're heading to Goring still. It took ages to the water. We must have been the emptiest we've ever been. Um, but we filled up. We're through Cleve Lock. Yeah. Um, and now we're just going to power through the rain and hopefully moor up after Goring Lock and uh, under the bridge. All right, Go and explore cool. Goring. Sounds good to me. We're going to be exploring Goring. <laughs> exploring <laughs> Goring at that our mooring. It's catching. Nice. <laughs> this is Goring Lock. Really, really pretty lock. The flower beds are gorgeous.
clearing our glen. And that's the bridge into Goring and hopefully we get to more um, just on the other side of this bridge. It's an EA moorings, free 24 hours and then £5.50 for the next 24 hours. We're here. We made it to our mooring in Goring. <laughs> um, lovely to be here, obviously. Nice to have got through, nice to have found a space. We've got pretty much the last space, which was which was yeah, really busy, good. It's quite busy, I thought, which yeah. was quite surprising because it was quite early. Yeah. It would have been earlier if it hadn't take so long, taken so long to get the water on. Yeah, three quarters of our journey was just waiting for water, basically. <laughs> waiting for them to fill up theirs and us to fill up ours. Other than that, it would have been here about an hour. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming along with us. Yeah, we really appreciate the time you spend watching our videos um so don't forget please press the like button if you liked it uh don't forget yeah, there. to there. subscribe if you haven't already Thanks. and if you want to be notified next time we upload a video please press the notifications icon and um, that's about it isn't it it is yes so we're going to be heading off which you'll see in our next video please come along and join us yeah. and as always if you have our new subscriber welcome along for the journey bye bye Thank <laughs> you.